So uh, you've had a good season in many ways. You were one of the nominees for uh, Player of the Month back in uh, October, wasn't it? I think it was October. And you seem to be enjoying the slightly deeper role. Is that is that your preferred role in the midfield now? Because I know you've, uh, I know things have, I know you've uh, you've moved around a little bit. Uh, I've always said that I don't mind where I play if it's deeper or higher. Because obviously recently I've been starting in a ten position as well. So yeah, it don't really matter to me just as long as I'm in the midfield and playing. It's fine. Uh, in that, uh, obviously. You know, from uh, from Saturday onwards, you've got four games in eleven days. That's that's pretty tough. Now, of of the, of those four games in that amount of time, yeah. how much of that do you think you can play at your absolute best, and how much do they got to rely on a bit of rotation? Well, hopefully, all of them. But um, is is demanding. So I don't know. I just have to play the game, see how I feel after. Um, obviously, recover as best I can and. Then it's down to the gaffer. What team he thinks can do the best job on that day? Speaking of, of the gaffer, has he talked about? Has he talked much about squad rotation? Uh, I don't think it's something he really needs to speak about. To be fair, but like, if he feels it needs to be done, then obviously he'll do it. That, that's his job as a gaffer, and just just have to respect his decision. Now, um, you, you're relied on sometimes to start to you know to get an attack going. Yeah. How much do you? How strongly do you trust, you know, in depth, considering we've got four games in that time, how, how, how strongly do you trust the players in, around you who you're, who you're kind of feeding throughout the squad? Well, of course I trust them, my teammates, you know, the quality players, as, as you've seen throughout most of the season so far, we're, we're a good team and yeah, they're all good professionals as well, so they'll be fine, they'll be right out. Uh, the strikers aren't really getting too many goals at the moment. Do you yeah. feel like the more creative players, like yourself, are creating enough chances for them? Um, it's a difficult one, isn't it? But like, it, them things happen throughout seasons. There's the stages where strikers don't really score as much as they normally would. Obviously, everyone has them little phases, but it's a team game. So if they're not scoring, centre backs, midfielders, wingers, we need to step up and score because just for the, the team's sake, basically. Yeah. That's that, that's very honest, and um, obviously results have been a little bit um, have been a little bit mixed of late, uh, and in the uh, first part of the season, most of the players and the managers, to be fair, were saying, um, you know, we felt like we're the better team in most games, and we you know yeah. we're just struggling to crack it. Are you, do you still feel like that? Well, in in some of the games, yeah, of course. Uh, obviously, a few games we probably haven't been at our best, which is going to happen as well for our season, but. In the games that we have dominated so earlier in the season and we didn't get a result, I do feel it was a better team, yeah. Now, crew, like you guys, very young team, yeah. lots of energy. Um, one of your jobs, obviously, is to try and spot um, spot, a, spot a weakness or two mm. in that opposition defence. Have you have you identified any areas in of them defensively where that you can exploit? Oh, that's that's like stuff we'll go through throughout um, the week in training, especially closer towards game day, and obviously the gaffer will give us a few points on what he thinks we could like use to our strength then and and get in and obviously try to get a win. Yeah, uh, are you hoping in that game you'll be able to um, get forward a little bit more and leave the more defensive stuff behind, or are you, or are you what do you anticipate? I always want to get forward. If I can score, I always get a goal. Like it's a nice feeling, but. Um, obviously, it's just you just gotta. If I'm gonna go forward, I gotta make sure that we're safe behind me, and then just go from there. Yeah, uh, that, that's all from me. Yeah. Oh. Cheers. Reece, um away from home, the team has scored, you know, bucket load of goals and looks really ruthless. Um, why do you think it's not quite been the same over just the nine goals so far? I mean, I'm, I'm sure you'll be looking to, um, you know, improve on that starting Saturday, won't you? Yeah, definitely. Um, like I said, it just goes like that sometimes. Uh, like I, I can't explain it. I couldn't explain it even if I wanted to. But I'm sure like it will pick up as we go on. Like as I said, at home we have been playing well though. Like we've played well throughout the season. It's just not quite falling for us yet. But I'm sure it will come. Is it this period? I suppose for position you're in, it's just about keeping that points gap between the playoffs evenly automatic, automatic as low as possible. Would do you feel like? If you're in that position come January, there's a really good opportunity for the team. Yeah, I think even though we're not as high as maybe we'd want it to be, we're in a, still in a great position. I think the table's really tight at, at this point of the season, and it's like four or five points off like automatic place. So yeah, like we're basically just coming to Jan now, and it's time to just try to kick on and really, really push it through. Yeah, that's it. Sometimes it's 
people say, oh, we can put a run together, but in this league, it's as if two wins can really propel you at the same time, two defeats, it can go the other way. Yeah. It's just that tight. It's ridiculous, isn't it? We've had it, we saw it, like, we've, we were undefeated and we still weren't, like, top, top, you know what I mean? And we are undefeated, but it's just how the league is really tight this year, so we just need to be at our best, yeah.